Hello, my name is Tristan with IT Client Services, and today we're going to be reviewing how to provide access to a third party user in Workday. This is going to be most useful to you if someone else views or pays your bills. After logging into Workday, you want to click on the profile icon in the top right and then select View Profile. From here, on the left side, you want to select Contact, and then the Friends and Family tab. And then you'll select Add. Here, you'll enter your contacts information. In our case, we're going to keep it pretty bare bones for our example. However, in your case, you'll want to fill out as much of this as possible uh, to keep it up to date and accurate. We're going to select a parent in this example. Very important step to remember is checking off the is third party user box. Then we can fill out the name. I'll just use my parent and we'll switch uh, to the contact information. Here you can add a phone, an address, and an email. In the case of the address and email, there's some special circumstances that we want to go over. The address, once you enter in either a home or work section under type, you will get this use for box. It autofills with local off campus as well as street address do not use. You can leave these be, or you can select the box and select whichever one is most accurate uh, to your example. In our case, I'm just going to leave that as is and fill out Bentley's address. Now that that is complete, we'll move on to the email. And for this example, I'll use my own email address. Under type, in my case, I'll use work. And again, you get the use for box. And this is for billing or shipping. You can either leave this empty or you can select these as applicable. With those two done, I'm going to select OK. Here, it's going to verify with you whether or not the information is correct. So we can see that we've put name as my parent. And contact information has our address as well as our email address. Seeing that these are correct, I'm going to hit done. So now we can see that my parent has been added to the list here very important step, you want to make sure that yes is under third party. Now that we verified that it says yes under third party, we're going to move on to the actions button and then select manage permissions for my third party. Here confirm that the correct name appears in the third party tab and that Bentley University shows under institution. You can then hit OK. And here you're going to be greeted with the tasks that are available for third party users. In this case, you want to select whichever ones you want to permit your contact to be able to access. In our example, we're going to select every box. You'll notice when we select view student statement, a fourth option appears. This is just a bit of an add on to the view student statement option which allows uh, courses to be displayed. Now that we've selected those, we're going to hit OK and be greeted with the FERPA authorization waiver. You're going to want to read through this and make sure that you understand it. And as long as you're OK with the waiver, under purpose of waiver, enter parent permission. 
and then check off the confirm box and select submit. And that is all you need to do. At this point, uh, two emails are going to be sent to your contact. The first email is going to contain their username, while the second email will contain their temporary password, along with a link to the parent portal, where they can sign in with their username and password. For today's topic and access to more content, you can get more information by visiting MyBentley at bentley.edu slash mybentley and click on ServiceNow. Enter your Bentley email address and password to access Bentley Support Central. Once logged in, type in the keyword that you would like to learn more about in the search bar. For example, wireless. If you have any further questions, contact the Bentley IT Help Desk by emailing helpdesk at bentley.edu or by calling 781-891-3122.